lesson is about the differentiation of exponential functions. The formula for that is if y equal to e to the power of ax, then dy over dx is equal to ae ax. Now in this case, you can see that you are differentiating equation y with respect to the variable x. Therefore, the differential coefficient becomes dy over dx, indicating that you are differentiating equation y with respect to the variable x and the formula is a e a x where a is the variable is the coefficient of the variable x with which we are differentiating. Now there are three examples that we are going to discuss. The first example is s equal to 9e to the power of 5t. Now you can see that you are differentiating equation s with respect to the variable t therefore ds over dt is equal to 9 is the coefficient of the whole function so that remains as it is so 9 open brackets the the coefficient of the variable t in this case is 5 therefore comparing it with the original formula we have a equal to 5 and substituting it into the formula we have 5 e to the power of 5 Therefore, 9 times 5 is 45 e to the power of 5t. Now, moving on to the next example, we have p is equal to 3e to the power of x. So, as we already know that we are differentiating equation p with respect to the variable x. So, therefore, your differential coefficient becomes dp over dx and the, the coefficient of the variable x is a equal to 1. So therefore, substituting it into the formula, we have 3 is the overall coefficient of this function. So 3 remains unchanged. Open brackets, a is 1, e to the power of 1x. So 3 times 1 is 3, e to the power of 1 times x is x. Now, moving on to the next example, you can see that we are differentiating equation y with respect to the variable t and now in this case it is a slightly different because you have e to the power of t in the denominator and this has to be moved to the numerator because the formula is for y e equal to e to the power of ax and exponential function is clearly in the numerator. So if we want to move the exponential function which is in the denominator to the numerator the power of the exponential function changes from positive to negative. Therefore, it becomes y equal to 1 over 2 e to the power of minus t. Now, comparing it with the formula, we have a is equal to minus 1 because that is the coefficient of the variable t because minus 1 times t becomes minus t. Now, differentiating equation y with respect to t, it becomes dy over dt. So, half is the coefficient of the whole function. So, therefore, it is half open brackets a is minus 1 e to the power of minus t. So, half times minus 1 is minus half e to the power of minus t is the answer.